In this video, we're going to talk about finding terms in the sequence. So, when we, given this, this is what's called the general term. It's what can be used to find any term in our sequence. So, if, say we want the first term, that would be denoted a sub 1. Notice the 1 in for n. That'd be negative 1 to the 1 plus 1, 2 to the 1 over 1. So, all I did was plug in 1 for all my n's. I'll have a negative 1 squared, so that becomes a positive 1. 2 to the 1 is 2 over 1, simplifies down to 2. Let's just do a couple more. Let's say we wanted the second term. Negative 1 to the 2 plus 1, 2 squared over 2. This is now going to be a 3 here. Negative 1 to the third power is negative 1, so this answer will be negative. We're going to have a 2 squared, which is 4 over 2 or it simplifies down to negative 2. This piece here is going to create what we call an alternating sequence because each term the sign is going to flip back and forth. So if we did the third term it would be positive. Now again we can find any term in the sequence. Let's say we want the hundredth term then we're looking for a sub 100. So we have negative 1 to the 100 plus 1, 2 to the 100 over 100. Now and here we have negative 1 to the 101. Since it's an odd number, this will be negative. And 2 to the 100, which is a really large number, we're not going to bother calculating it over 100. So we can see all the even terms are going to come out negative, all the odd terms are going to come out positive because of this piece right here.